Hello Nerf fans, this is Charles and John from Containment Crew, and we are now reviewing the Elite Spectre. Um, as far as the box is concerned, standard Elite box. Except for the only available at Walmart sticker. I think it's almost exactly the same as the old Spectre box, but we don't have one laying around. No. But I mean, it, it looks really, really familiar. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and pop this right open. And that's what's inside. Uh, nice size little booklet to explain how this thing works. Like any of us actually need to know how this thing works. I guarantee it works exactly like the old Spectre. Yep. Alright. Let's go ahead and pop out. So oh, it's not tied in? No, it's not tied in, but I am gonna need to raise it up anyway. That's an intro. My first thought is the the sh sheer amount of white on this blaster. There, there, there is an awful lot of white on this blaster. Yep. <laughs> compared to the other elite stuff. Um, then pop the rest of it out so we can get it all together. It does come with. That's weird packaging for the darts. Are they not in? They're not in any kind of plastic. They do come with. Five elite darts. And the oh, cool blue. Awful lot of white. Yeah. The the elite themed front barrel. Uh, overall I'd say other than a paint job, it looks almost identical to the regular Spectre right over here. I'm sure it... No. It does not have an... The, let's see if I can get a shot of that. The faux barrel does not have rifling like the rest of the Elite stuff. I'm not sure if you can see that. Hopefully you can. Um, there was another one that didn't have it. I, I, I'm trying to remember which one. Um, yeah. Still pops out nice and far. Loading still nice and easy. And The darts are hitting the wall at some force. I I don't know. You'll have to check check out Random Shadows' uh, video for more information on any ranges. And as but soon as he has one up, the link will be right here. <laughs> All right. So not really interested in stock. It's. Still fairly flimsy, just like the old well, one. Well, a lot of people like this stock. I'm not a, I, I'm not a huge fan of it. I'm not overall a huge fan of the blaster itself, but I do love the front barrel. I'm, oh, I am a little disappointed that it's not rifled. I know it probably doesn't do anything, but it was interesting. But uh, hopefully, we can get a camera angle in there. Face out, but it's got, it's got the new style air restrictor in the plunger tube like the strong arm had. Still, did the old one have a ceiling ring on it? I'm trying to remember. The old one did not have a ceiling ring, but it's got that ceiling ring there. Overall, I mean, it does feel like it's got a bit more of a heavy prime. Looking in there, the mech looks, I don't know. We'll have to get the internals video more, but ow. But feels like a, a heavier prime, so well, that's pretty much all I have to say. Is that it's still not you know a decent blaster, but uh, look forward for the internals for it. And if you still haven't checked out our uh, blazing bow video, click here. Yeah. Click on the box. Thank you for watching. Take it easy.